the execution of nine French jihadists on death row in Iraq would be a disgrace for France and leave an indelible stain on the mandate of President Emmanuel Macron, a group of prominent French lawyers said Monday. With controversy growing in France over the sentences handed out to the nine for joining the Islamic State is extremist group, the 40 lawyers urged Paris to keep the men alive, irrespective of their crimes. A court sentenced two more French citizens to death on Sunday, meaning that nine French jihadists are now at risk of execution in the country. We have taken a historic risk, which, if it is realized, will leave an indelible stain on the mandate of Emmanuel Macron, said the lawyers, who included some of the country's best-known legal professionals, such as William Borden, Henri Leclerc and Vincent Brengarth. Related slideshow, What ISIS Left Behind, provided by photo services. Rocket-propelled grenades left behind by Islamic State militants are seen at a school, following clashes in Fallujah, Iraq. A factory abandoned by Islamic State militants is seen in Fallujah. Explosives left behind by Islamic State militants are seen at a school following clashes in Fallujah, Iraq, on June 25, 2016. Members of Libyan forces allied with the UN-backed government neutralize explosives that they said were used by Islamic State militants, following a battle in Sirta, Libya, on September 5, 2016. A mass grave for Islamic State militants are seen in Fallujah, Iraq, on September 4, 2016. Weapons that belong to Islamic State militants are seen at an Iraqi army base in Camp Tariq near Fallujah, Iraq, on September 4, 2016. Homemade mortars belonging to Islamic State militants are seen in the town of Gwer, northern Iraq, on August 31, 2016. A Syria Democratic Forces SDF fighter inspects a room, which according to the SDF was used by Islamic State militants to prepare explosives, in Manbij, Aleppo Governorate, Syria, on August 17, 2016. A view shows containers, which according to Syria Democratic Forces SDF fighters were used for making explosives by Islamic State militants, in Manbij, Aleppo Governorate, Syria, on August 17, 2016. Blindfolds are pictured inside a prison, which according to Syria Democratic Forces SDF fighters belong to Islamic State militants, in Manbij, Aleppo Governorate, Syria, on August 17, 2016. Handcuffs are pictured inside a prison, which according to Syria Democratic Forces SDF fighters belong to Islamic State militants, in Manbij, Aleppo Governorate, Syria, on August 17, 2016. A view shows car parts, which according to Syria Democratic Forces SDF fighters were used by Islamic State militants to prepare car bombs, at a workshop in Manbij, Aleppo Governorate. Syria, on August 17, 2016. Syria Democratic Forces SDF fighters inspect bags of niqabs at a center that was used by Islamic State Religious Police, Al Hizba, in Manbij, Aleppo Governorate, Syria, on August 16, 2016. A view shows part of a media center that belonged to Islamic State militants inside an ancient hammam in Manbij, Aleppo Governorate, Syria, on August 16, 2016. Tripods and a projector are pictured inside an ancient hammam that was used by Islamic State militants as a media center in Manbij, in Aleppo Governorate, Syria, on August 16, 2016. Burnout prison cells belonging to Islamic State militants are seen in Fallujah, Iraq, after government forces recaptured the city from Islamic State militants on June 27, 2016. A book belonging to Islamic State militants is seen in Fallujah after government forces recaptured the city from Islamic State militants, Iraq, on June 27, 2016. A member of the Iraqi counter-terrorism forces stands in an Islamic State militant's weapons factory in Fallujah, Iraq, on June 23, 2016. An Islamic State flag hangs on the wall of an abandoned building in Telephone Hamis in Hisaka countryside after the Kurdish People's Protection Units, YPG, took control of the area on March 1, 2015.
A billboard with Quranic verses is seen in the historic city of Palmyra in Homs Governorate, Syria, on April 1, 2016. A tunnel used by Islamic State militants is seen in the town of Sinjar, Iraq, on December 1, 2015. It would mean allowing the legal assassination which is now proscribed by the majority of countries on the planet with the exception of Saudi Arabia, Iraq, China and the United States, said the open letter, published on the website of radio station France Info. It equates to renouncing our engagements by permitting the overseas implementation of the death penalty, they added. It would be a great disgrace for our country to make these death sentences possible. The French citizens were handed over to Iraqi authorities in January by a U.S.-backed force fighting the jihadist group in Syria. Hearings for the last two suspected French's members to be tried in Baghdad were set for Monday. France has long insisted its adult citizens captured in Iraq or Syria must face trial before local courts, while stressing its opposition to capital punishment. French government spokeswoman Sabeth Njai insisted Sunday that officials were intervening, at the highest level, in the cases.